Attention duelists, you requested. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you requested a uh, profile on a really piece of shit deck, so here you go. Wait, am I allowed to cuss? Yeah. yeah. Dimension Robo Goisha. The reason I pick him and not Die Hawk is because I like the toolbox power he brings to the deck in terms of uh, what grade three I can go in. You'll see later. Yeah, but uh, but Die Hawk lets you not have to run Sibiris, so it's good. Yeah, but that's fine. Run oh wait, upside down. Uh, trigger lineup is actually rainbow, four heals, four of uh, BTO8 copies, not reprints, <laughs> uh, four draw triggers. What's the stand do? Four of these stands. They're in the deck Whoa, because... Whoa, Metalborg stands. No, wait, no, 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 no. Cosmic it's, it's a Cosmic Hero one. reason they're in the deck is because GB1, you put it into the soul, give Vanguard plus 4k. But what makes this trigger really shine is when you use it in tandem with your strides, and your power hits 30 or more, which is like, oh, hey, look, 30k on any base stride. You get to choose another unit, including the Vanguard, and give it plus four. So it's really nice if I want to, you know, uh, give another rear guard some more power, or in the case that I do use it, X Falcon. <laughs> so for the grade one lineup, one of these, just cause. I tiger, really think of tiger. Else. It's a good 10k poker. This Why is not? a tiger, tiger, powered by the battery, battery called justice. justice. Yes, that one. Is that right? That's, oh my that's, God, what, that it, that's what it is, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Right so, ready. two Go Cannon. Fuck. I miss him. <laughs> These are in the deck for two reasons. One is, in case I miss somehow having three D-Robos in the soul, I can fix it. Shove something else in. What does it he do? Not, uh, it, you shove it in the... You, you choose him and another D-Robo unit and put them into the soul to give your Dayusha named Vanguard an extra critical. It's there in case I miss the break ride, so if I go grade 1, grade 2, and then I have to ride the Legion, who's dead without 3 d robos in the soul, this can help fix it. There's other cards in the deck that do the same thing. Also, Richard, you don't have any food allergies, do you? No. It's really funny if you stride over, so this um... meal won't kill you. What's his name, uh... <laughs> uh, if Wait, you stride over Die Kaiser Leon, because you can give him an extra crit if you're in Legion. Ah. Since he has... He technically has both names, right? When you strike? Yeah, yeah he keeps Yeah, the, so he uh, keeps the Dayusha yeah. name, which lets you actually make the Dai Kaiser Leon, who just has break, who just has guard break, into an extra crit guard break, which is a lot more threatening. People will actually guard it a lot more. Guard break. Wait, Wait I don't, I don't, I don't know decks. about the whole thing about the name. I just know you, you, know, you technically both Wait. are hearts. I don't know. Yeah, about I don't know if you card. keep the name, but I think you, have, you have to pick one no, this for one, like... This one gives you a shit. I don't know. Whatever. I forgot what the I mostly is. keep it in there to keep the... Uh, no one fucking uses Lee. She's your letter with Dayusha and his card name. Yeah, really? Please don't comment We're going to depend on the comment section to know better. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a fucking good one. They will know better. They're all no, Vanguard they players. can't read. No, yeah, they, they can't read. Don't insult your fan base. <laughs> Fuck you guys. We, we, made, we made our fan base Except for Odin and Tristan. Y'all are cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Shut up, uh, Next, four copies of Yucatan. Because, you know, cute. on call plus four to any, van, any of your uh, D-Robo units. Pretty good. Give your Vanguard some more power if you want to troll with X-Tiger or, you Yuka know, slide. hit anything. And then four PGs. Pretty standard. But are they the unflippy PGs? No, they're not. They're D-Robo PGs. Because you don't want to ride something that's not a D-Robo in the soul. Then you brick. Great two lineup. At different mm -hmm. fight, give us your thoughts on this deck, please. <laughs> he just comments, it's shit. For uh, die bazookas, because, <laughs> you know, yeah. who the fuck runs a D-Robo deck without die bazookas? Hey, 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 you can't hear what he's saying. Oh, sorry, is that, sorry. Is that okay. a foreign card right there? It is. It's, it's a, a Korean card. Video? Look at this. What? It's a Korean card. No, it's not. Don't not question it. Korean. <laughs> It's Filipino. Shout out to Diva. I'm guessing the reason you, you run like Thanks. Japanese Korean cards or whatever Easy. is because you just don't give a shit, right? Yeah, no, no, the whole deck was built off of like just because of the fact that Di that Dayushas were like 20 in American shekels and then they were like 500 yen. So, like, <laughs> why the fuck would I pay that? Anyway, Morty. three Dijet. Uh, not four, three because I run other cards. It's not because I, you know, no, oh, you're not running it at four, you're bad. It's just because of other dumb shit. Mostly because the uh, grade the grade lineup is actually 11 grade 1, 11 grade 2, 11 grade 3 to keep it, you know, wow. 11, 11, 11. And then the last cards, two die dragon for 12k attackers. I put these in because you gotta be a little more aggressive nowadays, and to draw one card and have it poke for 12 is pretty good. These die barrets are in Jesus. also to fix the soul issue along with the die cannons. 
uh, whatever his name was, a little green bastard. Go, 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 uh, go, go, they're also go, nice because they give go, plus go, 4k go, and on hit retire, you know. If you draw these early game, and so you, you know, you ride, you got your starter, uh, it's pretty nice to swing at the opponent for 19k to their grade 2 vanguard, threatening to snipe starters, which are actually getting a lot more... You, uh, you know, important index nowadays. So I like to keep the die Barretts. I was actually considering taking it out, but I realized it was gonna be a bad idea. If you get to snipe 19 at their 9k Vanguard, they're gonna either have to PG it or risk losing their units if they care or not. So that's the grade two lineup. <laughs> grade three lineup is three break rides. Die, Kai, <laughs> uh, And the, uh, the, uh, the Gungan Steven boss. Is, no, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> the, the, oh, the Gungan. <laughs> what a big boss, Yohana. You guys are idiots. So boss three, three break rides. <laughs> three legions, including one that is in filthy, disgusting English that is non-foil that I need to replace God ASAP. Alan, no, you're, you're, you're enforcing the Donate to our Patreon so you can afford another one. <laughs> Two of the ultimate Great Dayushas for Legion mates. But wait, look. These it, are, e it even has yes. the Legion symbol. What? These, are the, these are the Japanese because re reprints that had the foil thing on them. Oh, check that out. Because Japanese Bushy Road, while still Bushy Road, does some things correctly. It's th This whole deck came about because this was $10 for a pair, as opposed to in English, where this was, for some weird reason, the common one was $5 at the time, and this was like 25 mm -hmm. 20 or 25 it's our So I'd awful. rather pay $10 for shiny foils than, you know, almost 30 bucks for a common and a what pretty decent triple R. Uh, it's you the, want me to explain the, or what? Yeah, nah. this is a robot. <laughs> no, I'll explain no, it. You don't know what it does. Look, you what can't the even, fuck are you doing They can pause video. the video and read the card. No, no, no. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain I, it a bit. No, it's okay. They can look it up. There's a wiki where you can go and type in D-Robos and it has everything there. Or literally just TCG player. And the last part of the deck, one of each. Um, one Dayusha because Not early game ride is hilarious. I'm working on getting an SP. Okay, I'm proud of you. Uh, early game ride is hilarious. Or this is actually a pretty decent target for... Uh, well, both of these two are pretty decent targets for Die Earth. I'll explain that later. Uh, the one Shadow Kaiser, so you can meme your way into doing the infamous scene from the anime Right on Dream! <laughs> where they <laughs> docking formation into the one great Die Kaiser. Who's pretty decent if you're like, you know, if for some weird reason you're already at like four damage when you're barely getting to grade three. You can do stuff with it. God, there's so much justice in this video. <laughs> now the stride lineup is I actually run six G Guardians. There's more justice here than in the American justice. Two X so. Caribou, two Go Five, uh, one Atlantis, and one Enigma. Wait, Patriot. it's G O Five. Yeah, G O Five. Amazing. So Caribou's here because he's great. You know, uh, if they swing for thirty K or more, he gains ten K shield. Then you dump a card, give your Vanguard plus four for the turn. Excellent G Guard. And if you're in cross ride, that makes you seventeen base. Yay. Uh, G O Five is here. <laughs> Pretty great, you soul blast the card with 5k or more, and he gains 10k shield. Also, if you took a damage this turn, he gains an additional 5. The real reason this is in here is because if you can get away with it, you can soul blast the grade 3s that are in your soul to put them back in the deck with die jet, or if you re-legion, just to get more break right, more uh, break right targets. So the one Enigma and Patriot, because I couldn't really put anything else, and the one Dolphin, because I like him, but I don't. He's good. But I would much rather play Go Five or Caribou because, in my opinion, they're a little better as G guards. <laughs> Why this is still eight? nice though. Dolphin's dude, this, the, the, everything in this deck flips itself. Dolphin's the flippy one, right? But dude, uh, but dude, yeah. yeah. Alan, run a GBA. What's up? Yeah, Die King is great. Yeah, no, I'm okay. So this is supposed to be Die King. Uh, it never came in in my TCG player order, and they refunded me. But it's supposed to be Die King. So let's just pretend G it's Die King. Yeah, let's yeah. pretend it's uh, it's it's a. Uh, Super Giant of Light Enigman Die King. <laughs> so these used to be something else. They're supposed to be my Die Earths that I'm gonna get once I eventually get my paycheck. But you guys know what Die Earth does uh, on swing. It was like Act Counter Blast Counter 2. Blast two flip a copy, yeah, call flip a, grade a copy. Two and a grade three. Yeah, yeah. So you call a Grade 3 and a Grade 2. Uh, probably my favorite targets would be these two for Grade 3s. Grade 2 targets, quite honestly, any of them. Uh, him if you want the power, him if... No, don't take this guy out. Don't don't ever take this guy out of the deck. 
Why regular Dayusha for calling from deck? Ah, so let's say you did a thruid, right? And this would be something like your field if he was your first stride. Yeah. Uh, yes. Admire the waifu. So, <laughs> you call him? Weavers. Dude, this whole game is for weebs. They, they're already gonna be like, who the Feels fuck is that? Sauce on the face. anime? Hey, it's called a beauty mark. You take you that need back. To kill yourself. Yeah, you know the voice actress has one too, right? Really? It's, yeah, she has a she has a small mole. I think on the other side of the lip. But I always see uh, you and Rin sending lewds of them in the group chat, so I choose not to look because yeah. I'm a healthy, respectable boy. Anyway, so I respect the women. Girl folder. I'm trying to learn Vanguard combos, uh, please. You're the one that has a So let's say you go phone. into no? you know Die Hard. You got your boy Yusha. So. You super call a grade 3 and a grade 2. Now the reason Daish is in the deck is because if I call him out here like this, next turn, say I'm- oh, that's- you're not that. Say I'm sitting on break ride. If I really wanted to, I could, you know, like slap some shit down, shove this into the soul with Goyusha's skill. And by having the Daisha in here, it gives you the offensive plus 2k on your, uh, on your okay. legion. Gotcha. Also, another reason he's in here is just because I couldn't really get on my hands on a third uh, great Daikaiser, but a uh, buddy of mine gave me this one for free, so I was like, why the hell not? It's pretty good Friend early game combined with Dai Barrett, or if Friendship you're card. stuck with him and, uh, let's say, like, you know, the, the Go Cannon, you can swing for extra crits on their great twos. But mostly he's in there as sort of, like, emergency ride, or as for, you know, the whole, like, that play for with Goyusha. But yeah, and then uh, another good target for Die Earth is the uh, this guy. You know, just call him out. So your field might look something like this. Let's say. And then do docking formation. Yeah, and then you can either dock formation into it, or nobody really swings at grade three rear guards, so you can just keep kind of poking with eleven. And since I do run stand triggers, I do tend to like to do one poke column and one fully boosted column a lot of the time. So like this is what my field will look like sometimes where I have a poke column for 11 swing with vanguard and I almost never stand trigger anyway so it kind of just serves there. If I do, hey, if I don't, well, I usually don't. <laughs> so so real. <laughs> uh, let's see. I've gone through these strides. More reason why stands are bad. Stands are great. What are you talking about? If I didn't put the stand trigger in the deck, Arguably this guy. Okay, but if this guy and this guy would be completely like a lot harder to get their ability Okay, but off. if it was like a crit with the same effect, would you still run stands? Probably. Oh, okay. I'd still run stands just because my personal play style is I like to have the poke column with the great threes on this side. Mm. Or with like, you know, uh, one of the pokers, like the 12k or 10k but attacker. But crits win games. Ah, they do, but... But this deck inherently are crits, gets like are games crits, crits part of justice. You can never have too many. Anyway. Uh, other strides, a pair of Dai Kaiser Leons. I, kill people, I, just I only have justice. one pair because I personally think it's an okay card. You swing with guard break, but you don't gain any crits, so I don't know. That's, part That's part kind of the, the reason why the Go Cannon's in the deck. We'll see if that ends up working or not, thanks to the comment section. Others, uh, a pair of X Gallops. Now, X Gallop flips anything to get the quad drive. Cross Gallop? Stop. Who gives a shit? Uh, so... Or if it's buddy fight, it's just gallop. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's gallop. Gallop. It, there's like a little gal riding in the head. <laughs> She's like, like yeah. woo! Anyway, uh, so X gallop is <laughs> here for the quad American drive. Culture. I, what are you talking about? <laughs> the, uh, 35 <laughs> is easily One hit tarnation, by having this column, you know, you call a Yucatan, that's a plus four to Vanguard, easily swing for 35 with the boost. Reference. And the thing is, this does... Yes. This does check, uh, not on attack, well, technically it checks on attack, but after the boost, because it doesn't say at the beginning of the attack step like some of the other units do nowadays that Wait. specify that. So what does this card do? Wait, is it just when this unit yeah, attacks? Yeah, when it, when it attacks, if so it's power 35 trigger, or more... So you can't get put the trigger power on that and then get its skill, right? No, yeah, no, no, no. Because I mean, on, on attack, you yeah. counterblast one and G-flip anything. You know what, Richard? I'm not going to listen to you because you didn't the know reason that Kurgut's two. G, GB2 so active at the beginning is the second battle. ability is... I don't know if you guys can see it, probably not, but uh, if his power is 40k or more on swing, uh, your front row rear guard is gain plus four for every copy in your G zone. Now, I personally, you know, don't really flip him a lot of the time because I only hit the 35 threshold to save hand. But if you do somehow hit the 40 threshold, if you have a second copy, flip it for the power if you want, or just do, you know, the 40k next turn so you already have the copy flipped. 
Either way, you know, great card, quad drive for basically free because this deck powers this up isn't itself Gansalot. easily. Hey, no man, Gansalot is like actually like you plus one to quad drive. You don't just like you flat plus get to it. Plus. And the last G units in the deck, one of each. Uh, X Miles, pretty good card. <laughs> <laughs> pretty good card uh, when his power is 37 or more on hit. Uh, you know, the good thing is it's at Wait, the end Alan, of the battle. Wait, please read so out its triggers. full name because some people get upset when we don't use the actual so, names. So the full name Shout of this out to unit that dude who said is. He shoot up my house. <laughs> Super Cosmic Hero X Rogue, and Rogue is infamously Miles's gamer tags on everything. <laughs> there, I, I don't think I have it anymore, but there was that one picture one time that was on the <laughs> internet where Miles' head. head was shopped right there. It was really puny, but it looked yeah. really funny. I think that was like 16 year old so Miles. It's, yeah, it's at the end of the battle that the attack hit, so you can put triggers on it to power it up. Generally, if you want to be, you know, uh, conservative with your uh you know stuff and you don't want to be like you know a, a lahayim about shit you can do that so you're at 26 call a yucatan plus four or any of the other plus four units in the deck this swings for 35 so if you get your trigger go ahead i personally like doing this because a lot of the times it's mind games with opponents if they choose to PG it, well, you put your triggers on the rear guards. If they choose to no guard, you do tell them, I only need one trigger for the skill to go off. So sometimes they will, you know, try to take that chance and hope you don't hit the trigger, which quite honestly happens to me a lot more often than I would like. But if you swing for 35 and you need one trigger for the ability, it is slight mind game. Your opponent might think, okay, you know what, I'll let it hit. They might not get the trigger. Most of the time they PG it anyway. So don't bother trying to get it up to the 37 just leave it on chance to get a trigger it's it's the safer play you can say you got it up to 37 by you know calling a yucatan and like uh die jetting or something well i mean that's a given say you only had one on the field this gives up plus four makes it 35 you hope on the trigger but if you called the yucatan to guarantee it and they pg it anyway well you just call the unit that you might have wanted to call next turn for example the excalib turn you might have wanted to save the on play yucatan because let's face it, everybody kills die jets. It's never going to live on your field past the turn. That's and if they don't let it live, <laughs> you do that, jank. Oh, but then where do you put your Goyusha out there? And then you threaten Yucatan getting killed. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, man, move Goyusha God up. forbid Yuka dies. I you know. Don't need she, she no, can, you, you do, you do need your great ones, dude. Rip. No, <laughs> no, he's alive. He, he's dancing now in his grave. It's not canon. Anyway, uh, so good first stride if you didn't G guard first turn so you could, you know, first stride this piece of shit or something. Also, if you run it, you're just indirectly endorsing me. <laughs> you are, yes. Uh, one X Tiger because a Dimension Robo deck without an X Tiger is X quite Tigger. frankly. <laughs> X Tigger, you can't say that. Da that's dangerously close to you know like something else. <laughs> so Alan, you can say it. It's just super. No, I can't. Super <laughs> Cosmic Hero X Tiglet. He lets you <laughs> on attack, G flip something, gain a bunch of power. He gets a crit. It's really funny to use as either a last stride or if you're on GB five, you ride him, swing to set yourself up for GB eight the following turn. Which, quite honestly, Die King is retarded. It's hilarious. And finally, X Falcon, because like I said Is earlier. Is Captain Falcon reference? I hope so. It, it's Captain Falcon's race car turned into a mech. <laughs> so. so let's say this is your field setup, right? You've got your 26 Vanguard. You can call Yucatan to give it a plus four, and you can Digit to give it a plus four. So your Vanguard would be at 26, 34, with a boost 39. The problem is 45 is two triggers. That's where this comes in, the stand trigger, which is what I said with, in the case that you only had the stand trigger, this would do the same effect as both of these cards combined. Because the stand trigger, if you put it in the soul, you'd be at 26k Vanguard, call, put into the soul, plus 4,000 to your Vanguard. Your Vanguard is now at the 30k threshold to activate the secondary ability of the trigger, which is to give plus four to any other unit on the field, including the Vanguard. The initial plus four has to go to the Vanguard. But, you know, the second 4k can go anywhere. But so say you use it in like your first battle or counterblast 2? It, it's it at the end. Hit. Yeah, it's, it's a, hit. after hit. So you would be sitting at a 34 plus 5 is 39. You can call a Yucatan for 42 or call the Dijet for the 42. Another thing, you don't ever want to get this guy to the actual 45. Because most likely this is a P... This is going to be a unit him... X Tiger and X Rogue are all PG checks. You just swing to get the PGs out of your opponent's hand. That way, the next turn when you actually break ride, 
you can you know swing for retarded numbers and they will have PG or you know they can like triple PG you but X Tiger I mean X no I bad X Falcon is there because if it does hit well you know after the battle if his power is 45 or more which only takes an additional trigger if you only want to call one card if you're tight on hand or you want to save it for later or you just go ham yeah you, you can go ham but if it gets PG it's like ouch you know that's why I technically I technically I usually don't go ham because if I can call these two to make him PG fodder, well, I could have saved this. He still gets PG'd anyway, because the threat of one trigger for the ability is still too high. <laughs> then I could save the additional 4k for something else. But, uh, X Falcon ability, after the attack hits, powers 45 or more, you counterblast two and discard a card to choose one of your opponent's rear guards and kick it into their damage zone face down. This is amazing, in my opinion, because, yeah, you kill a rear guard that's essential, you make them take a face down damage. And the cost is pretty cheap because D Robos don't really need their counterblast. And if they do, well, hey, you've always got you know your unflip, well, wherever he went, the great two guy. Dai Bazooka. Yeah, Dai Bazooks unflips when he. Oh yeah, you guys can't read this. Uh, Dai Bazooka is Just a great two right that you switch. <laughs> That's how you read Japanese, right? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. So, uh, was People are gonna dislike it. It basically yeah, becomes, it becomes a grade no three too. Yeah. Yeah. It. Sorry guys, there's no Laurel in this deck. Uh, I'm not paying twenty five dollars to be a piece of then shit. We can donate buy to our laurels. Patreon to get Alan some laurels. Yeah. If you guys yeah. donate, I will sell the laurels immediately and buy myself <laughs> a bunch of SP playsets of dead ass cards. <laughs> so please don't. <laughs> anyway, so. The way I like to play the deck is the way any other deck in this era plays. Oh, yeah. Stride, 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 every turn you can. Until you get to the inevitable turn where you have one of your break ride targets in hand. Now, quite honestly, every grade 3 in this deck serves as a break ride target. Some better than others. Even Shadow Kaiser? No, not Shadow Kaiser. <laughs> Shadow Kaiser is always on the rear guard circle, this my guys. No, but he has limit, he has limit break plus 5k when he attacks. <laughs> That old Thunder uh, Break Dragon meta. <laughs> no, yeah, the really old like limit break plus 5k on attack meta. Except he's like freaking an 11k. <laughs> Most of them were 10k bases. Throwback to Spider Man. He gains the plus 5k <laughs> on attack, and he has like the counterblast too on place retire. It's really dumb. Yeah. Anyway, uh, so say you've got any of these in hand, you can easily break right over break ride for you know additional pressure. So you gross. can break ride OG Dayusha for some crazy plays, uh, throwback to Crazy Diamond, where he will be swinging with Was that with a guard JoJo break. reference? No, that's not. <laughs> Stop. I'm, I'm actually gonna... Can you edit that part out? <laughs> Just the JoJo reference part. I don't yeah, care if my text is, is blotched. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, you do, the, you do that ear rate version like... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, so if you do break ride OG Dayusha, he will gain the 10k and crit from break ride on top of his own inherit critical, swinging for 25, 3 critical with guard break. Pretty threatening. There was an entire deck based around this uh, method called Crazy Diamond when the break ride first came out you guys can look it up on videos so you can do that you can do break ride on break ride you can do the shadow kaiser play if this guy is still in your deck if he however is in your hand just straight up hand break ride him he for the triple, triple drive. drive holy shit yeah fucking triple drive you can break ride him i don't recommend it because this is the deadest ride in the deck i mean yeah it's nice it's 11k with 3 crit, does the same thing as him. If you had him in the soul, I do recommend it for the 13k thick body. But I do highly, you know, suggest you break right mm -hmm. over ultimate Great Die Kaiser. So, Crazy what this guy does is... I mean, I would hope down. you guys know what it does, but... True Ultimate Dimensional Robo Great Die Kaiser is a card that has a bunch of specific skills. For one, his first skill is... If you have three dimensional robos in the soul, which is why I, you know, run the other cards to fix the soul, because if you don't run them, he doesn't gain his base critical, which he also has to be in legion to gain. His secondary ability is when he is in legion, if your mate, your mate has an extra critical, he gains the ability counterblast one guard break. Now what's important about the three D-Robos in the soul is that Great Dayusha's ability, his limit break is if you have three D-Robos in the soul, he gains 2k and one critical. Now the critical from him doesn't apply to the damage because he's the one causing the damage, but if he does not have the extra crit, 
you do not gain the guard break, which is why the three in the soul is so essential. You might actually be wondering, why don't you run any limit break unlockers in the deck? It's because I did try them and they just didn't work. The deck either never got the limit break unlockers when they needed it, or you know you're never at four and if you heal when you're if you're at four and you heal down well screw it just take that as a win because you were probably not going to guard break them anyway that was the best interruption ever <laughs> now one of the reasons maybe wonder i run the goal you should they left <laughs> So, the main reason I run Goyusha is to toolbox okay, into any of my grade threes if I need to. <laughs> but one of the cheapest plays you can make in this game, <laughs> if you have an extra copy in your hand, you can only get what you can do is you do your break ride, you do your big ass turn where you swing for three critical and two guard breaks per grade three. Because yes, they do stack. You gain the 10k guard break, the 10k crit guard break from the break ride, and you gain the extra crit guard break from his own abilities. So the turn you break ride and perform Legion, you will indeed be swinging for a minimum of 24, 34 with two criticals on top of his original and two guard breaks per grade three check. Damn. So this is a very threatening turn. Now the reason I have the Goyusha is because if you do indeed either drive check or have one in hand, you can re-ride and, you know, pump everything else onto the field to gain an extra turn of redonkulous break ride shenanigans. Which, quite honestly, two turns of this, if they survive it, just scoop the game, you're not gonna win. <laughs> Justice wasn't on your side if you did that. Damn. These plays are so in-depth, I bet we're even schooling different fight. <laughs> Sorry, different fights. I don't, fight. I don't work with these guys. I'm not affiliated with these guys. I am simply just some kid that like you know likes to play dumb decks. Kid, you're like 27 years old. <laughs> How old are you, Alex? I'm 24. Oh, okay. no, no, I'm 24. Yeah. I'm, I'm older than all you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Holy shit, I'm 23. I thought I was the old person. No, no, no. You're you just you know like your people age like spoiled you know, milk. After That's you hit right. like 20, everyone looks the same. Yeah, That's no, quite, quite honestly, guys, I know yes, a bunch of Miles, you. Miles, an, an, an 80-year-old woman looks exactly the same as a 21-year-old. <laughs> that was poorly phrased, sorry. <laughs> anyone 20 <laughs> or looks exactly <laughs> the no, same. So like, you like heard it from Miles. I mean, like, I mean, like, I mean, like, everyone, yeah, yeah, that, that's what I really should have said. So, Everyone, go, like, guys. within their 20s that's kind it. of, like, they just all look that's pretty like much it. the yeah, same. There's not really, like, I mean, um, They could look at us and be like, we're There's not really a strategy to this deck. You look like you're 12. But the whole basis of this deck... Why people tell me I look older? Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna keep talking. I hope you guys can hear it. The whole basis of this deck is just to ride your break ride and try to guard break them because D-Robos don't really have any inherent plussing engine aside from Great Dyerth, who's like counterblast 2 to call 2 units. Wow. What am I, back in like BT6? Uh, the whole that's one counterblast per card. That's not yeah, it's not bad, but it's like... Eh. I mean compared to other clans who get like probably a plus five off of counterblast so you only get a plus two that anyway Gaush. Gaush is <laughs> richard and can richard and miles stop making out for a second wow that don't worry guys we endorse all jokes. lgbtq so associates they are you know they're doing their thing anyway so there you guys have it if you want to recreate the deck i do highly suggest you build the deck in, in japanese. japanese because it's it's so much cheaper than There's building it in like English. Laurels, twelve dollars in Japan instead of the. Uh, I have no idea how much they are right now. Last Alan. I checked, they were they were pretty cheap. Just sell it for two hundred bucks and just buy it again for another hundred. <laughs> what the fuck? No. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, if you are wondering, um, next we'll be coming out with a Japanese non-dominate Nubatama deck. <laughs> no, no, I'm not unveiling Dude, that piece of shit decks? to the world. <laughs> Unveil it. Dude, this is a waste deck. Like, yeah, I thought this was a Vanguard profile. No, we have one Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile on this channel. <laughs> Do the uh, Elemental Hero awful. one that you <laughs> No, the Dest... What were they? Destiny Heroes, yeah. yeah. D-Hero deck profile. Alright, guys, well, that's about it. That's the whole uh, deck. It's mostly based off of break riding. It evolved to stride format. As the stride units got cheaper, I picked them up. And, um, yeah, you know, uh, I guess any last comments I'd have to say is, you know, praise Daya Waifu, uh, Rico's a slut, she's pretty cool, that's my waifu, Dio? so, hey. No, There's it's, no it's Daya. Here. It, it's oh, Daya, it's based off Diamond, and, like, her sister is Ruby, it's really stupid. But, uh, yeah. Wow. But where's Kana? Yeah, if, if this was my mat, I would put her there, I'd put Kana there. And then I'd have Daya, Kana, on. Shout out to Rin, though. Yeah, shout out to our, our homeboy Rin in Oakland. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yes. 
<laughs> that dead ass. I mean, uh, Rin, how check, Sonic forces. yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm not uh, endorsing that. I mean, but not forces. Maybe, Rin, yeah. Rin is a good buddy of ours. He actually helped fund a lot of this deck through uh, his Yuyute account. Uh, so yeah, thanks for that, and that's about it. Praise Chica. Praise the sun.